In this video, we will show you how to prepare a 128-channel ActiCap Snap Cap with ActiCap Slim Elytrodes in a nice and neat way. Preparing a nice and neat cap is important for several reasons. Your application may in fact depend on a specific lead wires arrangement, for example in TMS EEG studies or when using the cap track to detect exact electrode locations. Preparing the cap to avoid too much crossing of lead wires or cable spaghetti will also prevent unintentional damages and ensure equipment longevity. Tidy preparation of the cap will also minimize setup time, especially if prepared according to a certain fashion at the very beginning. ActiCap electrode systems have a flexible design consisting of standalone bundles of 32 electrodes arranged in four strands of eight lead wires. ActiCap slim electrodes have specific numbers, also called physical channels. They range from 1 to 32 and are indicated by a label on the head of the electrode. ActiCap slim electrode bundles can therefore be moved in between ActiCap snap caps of different channel counts, sizes and layouts by inserting the electrodes into dedicated holders. These holders are fixed within the cap fabric and also labeled with numbers from 1 to 32. This design eliminates any guesswork when inserting the electrodes into the respective holders. Standard ActiCap layouts are designed according to the international 1020, 1010 or 105 systems. This means that a 32-channel cap already provides full head coverage. Increasing channel numbers will add more density, up to 160 channels. For every standalone 32-channel bundle of ActiCap Slim electrodes in use, an ActiCap snap cap will have a dedicated color-coded and numbered group of 32 holders. Each set of 32 colored holders on a standard ActiCap snap cap is arranged in a horseshoe shape. Here, consecutive sets of 8 electrode holders are located within dedicated quadrants of the cap. This allows easy mounting of electrodes in their respective holders and prevents lead wires from crossing over hemispheres or over each other, especially with high-density caps. Let's now walk through the steps we usually follow to set up an ActiCap snap cap in a nice and neat way. Remember to always hold the electrodes from the housing when inserting or removing them from the holders. Also, make sure you do not pull the lead wires to prevent damage. First of all, place the ActiCap snap cap on a model head. With a model head, you can start to imagine your participants wearing the ActiCap snap cap and arrange the lead wires in the desired way. Insert electrodes following group colors and electrodes numbers. Start with the first standalone 32 slim electrodes bundle in the green holders. Follow the horseshoe shape and insert electrodes into the cup, starting from number 1 and finishing with number 32. Repeat this step for each electrode bundle and their respective color-coded holders. Arrange lead wires wisely by routing them in between holders so that they do not lay on top of electrodes themselves. Rotate the holders so that lead wires can be routed under their little numbered label. Adjust free length of lead wires with the white cable guides. Avoid allowing too much free length to prevent movement artifacts and cable tangle. Avoid pulling the cable too much as well, as this will cause the electrodes and holders to go too far away from the scalp and discomfort to the participant. Pull the cables just gently through the cable guides to give them sufficient free length. 
Once all the electrodes of a strand of eight lead wires have been inserted into the respective holders, route the lead wires into the next closest Velcro strap to stabilize them. This will also work as a strain relief. Adjust the length of the cables again if needed with the cable guides and aim to have them just below the Velcro strap. Continuously adjust lead wires routing, especially when inserting electrodes in previously populated CAPS quadrants. For example, reroute the lead wires of electrodes located in the lower part of the CAP on top of cables of higher electrodes, since this will keep them fixed and stable. Repeat this step as many times as needed. Insert the reference REF and ground GND electrodes into the respective blue and black holders last and let the lead wires root above and behind the head. Follow all the steps till the cap is fully populated. Once you're done, do not forget to contemplate your spaghetti-free and nicely arranged cap.